need you to hold on. Heaven is a place not too far away. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Cornificent back here with your guitar interpretations and today we are doing Hold On by Justin Bieber. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to play this for the most basic player, the intermediate player and the advanced player. Alright, so we're going to be also switching to show you the version with the capo, the version without the capo and the version with all the bar codes. Alright, so just stay tuned for all of that. First of all, let's start with the easiest version, which is where we have our capo on fret number four. All right, and we're using the following chords. The first chord is going to be an A minor. Okay, and if you want to really get the funk of the song, you're going to have to plug, tap, plug, tap. So that's okay, plug, tap, plug, tap. We go to G, and then we have an F, and then sometimes he puts a C, sometimes he puts a G. All right, so. A minor is open, open, two, two, one, open, and then we go to G, which is three, two, open, open, one, one, and then we go to F, uh, in this case it's one, open, three, two, one, open, and then we have a C, which is open, three, two, open, one, open, or a G again, which I've already showed you. Okay, now let's go to the pluck the strings that you should be plucking. Um, for the intro, if you're gonna plug all the strings, you're gonna be using five, four, three, two for A minor. If you're gonna be doing the pattern that I was doing in the in the verse, which is exactly how they play it. So you have your A minor and then you lift the third string to leave it open. Alright, so and then we have five two three sorry five three two five two three got that five two three five three two okay five two three five three two five two three five three two and then you shift okay so when we go to g we're going to be holding g and then again the last two strings are open and then you hammer on the first fret of string of the b string okay so now we're going just maintaining this B string from A minor to G and then we go to F and we're still maintaining it on F we have this um, this should be the okay let's just call it the, the third string all right we have the third string open which is a B A what G it's a G string right it's the G string so we have our G string open. All right, so the pattern remains the same. We have five, five, two, three, for A minor, five, two, three, five, two, three, five, two, three, five. So we have five, two, three, five, three, two, and then we go to G, and now we're using six for our bass, and it's six, two, three, six, three, two, and then we have F, Six two three six three two, and then we have G again. It's again six two three six three two. Or, in some cases, they use a C right there. I'm gonna show you where it's actually to play the C. Um, C is five two three five three two. Okay. So now let's get into the verse and play along. All right. So. That I make sure I'm giving you guys the right chords. So we have okay. So we have A, G, F, G again. Okay, A minor, G, F, G again. Okay, so C. All right. So we have. They're alternating. The first time it's A minor, G, F, G, and then we go A minor, G, F, 
and then this time C. You want you can just pluck that part if you can't like finger pick it okay so you have well, you can tell me when you need someone and then the chorus I need you to hold on heaven is a place not too far away here are still A minor, G, F, G, and then the second time A minor, E minor, F, and then we have a C, and then you can play C, G, just G as a passing chord, all right? And my strumming pattern here is, um, so I'm going down, 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 okay? Down, down, down. Down, 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 down. That's seven times, all right? Down, 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 down. Okay, you flick up before you get into the second one. So it's down, 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 Okay, down, 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 up. Down, 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 down. I think the most original sounding version is to play the bar chords, okay? So we're gonna have... So that's an A minor again, but you're playing it on the fifth fret with relevance to the capo. Alright, so we have... E minor, F, C, G. That's the second part. The first part is just E minor, A minor, sorry. If you can't really play bar chords yet, just A minor, G, F, G, and then the second time we have A minor, G, F, C, G. All right, and you're sort of like muting the the, the, the strings, the top strings, to get that whole percussion thing going on. If you want to play this without the capo, it's composed in the key of E major. So we're going to be having a C sharp minor. And then we go to, this is a B. Alright, so C sharp minor is basically A minor, but in frets 5 and 6, and then you bar the 4th fret. And then B is basically an A in fret number 4, and then you bar the 2nd fret. And then we have the A. And A is like zero, zero, two, 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 zero. And then we go back to B. I need you to hold on. these if you're a very advanced player you can combine the version that we we're playing with the capo right and bunch it up with this version to get that a in check the e major sort so we have
All right, so that's pretty much it. And here we're just using the same chords that we're using. This is um, the shape of the bar chord in the shape of E minor on fret number three, five, seven, nine. And then we jump to the same bar chord on fret number four. And then we go to the chord in, in the shape of E, the bar chord in the shape of E on fret number five. And then we have E major as the fourth chord. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Do subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Leave a like and share the video if it helped you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.